To survive, communities in the greater Karamoja cluster need to work together. But peace has sometimes been fleeting. The environment can be tough, natural resources scarce. The region covers an area almost the size of the United Kingdom, spanning across the borders of Ethiopia, Kenya, South Sudan and Uganda. The borders they cross to find water and pastures are, for them, a relatively new development. Conflict over territorial movements and the use of natural resources has long been a fact of life here. For pastoralists like Adupe Lokut, hope of avoiding the conflicts of the past lies with the next generation. In the greater Karamoja cluster, livestock means wealth. But cattle raiding, competition over pasture and water, droughts and animal diseases pose real challenges to communities. Cross-border resource sharing and livestock coordination programs have helped pastoralists like Adupe by building more resilient livelihoods and enabling lasting peace. <laughs> Narupe Veronica lives in the Uganda town of Amudat, a few kilometers from the border with Kenya. Andi kurera Veronica ungura parangion, cheptonja rain, namba gifungu eni sto, werencha crop, werencha crop, weta mo, werencha kalep, weta ngaror, cheptonja cheet, weta school, cheptonja chebet, weta school. To cope with the livelihood threats they face, people in Karamoja have been exploring new economic activities that can supplement their traditional lifestyles. Through farmer field schools, local knowledge and outside insights are tested, validated and integrated in the context of Karamoja. Veronica is part of a special sort of field school a junior farmer field and life school. Here, Veronica and her classmates acquire agricultural and social skills at the same time. Hey, I don't 
using the support and training provided by the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations through the field school, Veronica is now able to sell crops in nearby Amudat town, bringing in extra income for the family. Once a warrior, Kales now prioritizes peace as a means to prosperity. FAO dialogue programs have helped communities here sort out their differences peacefully. Starting in the early 2000s, unsupported, by partners such as FAO, governments in the Karamoja have increasingly focused on disarming warriors and investing in peace and stability, while intensifying efforts aimed at economic and social development. <laughs> Diseases that affect the animals people rely on represent another major challenge to Karamoja people's ability to feed themselves and their families. Dr. Mericia is the county chief veterinary officer in West Pokot, Kenya. When there is an outbreak of a disease, it can actually kill 70% of the livestock, even up to 90%. When pastures lose their, their, their livestock, that is their only source of livelihood. You can imagine now they will not have no food and uh, malnutrition and death, so they can be a disaster. So we need to address this is the only source of, of their livelihood. Now, uh, so our mandate measurement is, is, is to control those diseases and then at the same time to do some clinical work treatment and then some extension. It is important for the two countries uh, to work together because when, when these, these people have not, they, they don't know what is, 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 a, is a border. They, is, they cross freely to Uganda and back and they cross with the, with the animals. So we need to work together to control these diseases so that when they, when they go to Uganda, they are healthy. When they come back, they are healthy. And they go there for pasture and water. Then they come to Kenya for markets. So we want healthy animals to fetch good prices. So we need to work together to address these diseases. Frequent and persistent drought are also a challenge here. With climate change, droughts are getting longer and more pronounced. Desertification and degradation of rangelands are becoming bigger threats. The climate is actually changing for the last, it's now getting drier. And uh, even 
because of the peace that is there now, the number of animals have increased and the pasture is being depleted. Even in, in Uganda where there was a lot of pasture, it is being depleted. So it has changed, the climate has changed. It is now drier than it used to be. Oh, no, 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 no. Across the Karamoja, the challenges remain, but traditions endure even as things are changing. At places like Kobebe Dam in northeastern Uganda, communities are sharing resources. Through local peace committees, communities are talking through disputes and agreeing on ways to coexist. This peace committee is supported by FAO pastoralist field school expert Michael Ade. Oh, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Oh, oh, ah, they are now taking their children to school. They are contributing to, to, to construction of schools, which they used not to do before. People now realize peace is very important. Yeah, that, and I, I don't think they will ever go back to the war. Uh, the way they used to do their catharsis, I think they will not like to go back because they have seen the essence of peace. And we have always seen the importance of peace. <laughs> Tradition and change can coexist. Karamoja communities, with the support of the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, have shown that they can share and co-manage natural resources, avoiding conflicts before they erupt. This has made it easier for governments to facilitate cross-border movement of animals, boosting trade and commerce, and to provide veterinary care to enable increased production. People here have learned new ways to earn a living too. Although firmly grounded in their traditional ways, the people of the Karamoja are on a new path to greater peace and prosperity.